Hello, it's Kevin De Silva here with Douglas Elliman, and I'm bringing you today's episode of the De Silva Daily. In today's episode, episode seven, our lucky episode, is we're going to cover inspections prior to acceptance. What I mean by that are inspections prior to having an accepted offer. When would you do that? I'm about to explain that. So inspections, as you know, are one of the key topics I've talked about numerous times over my real estate career. Inspections are where I make my money. Not technically, I'm not a professional inspector, but I am a professional at supervising inspections and negotiating proper repair credits and proper repair actions so that my clients know what they're walking into when they buy their home and are compensated fairly for getting the job done. So I'll explain to you real quick, in my career, this is where I make my money, is I do get paid for buying and selling homes. I've, rep- I've negotiated twice as many repairs and credits for the buyers I work with than what my clients as sellers give away to the other party. Now, how do I do this? Well, there's two phases of negotiation. There's one inside of the escrow process and there's one prior to. It's when you're trying to get your offer accepted. So today I was at a property. Uh, My client called me last night, wanted me to write an offer, wrote an offer late last night. I went out and checked out this property after talking to the listing agent because the listing agent didn't want her to open escrow and then realize that she needed to back out. So I went out there with the contractor today and we took a look and sure enough, the property was horrendous. So when would you use inspections prior? You wanna bring out a contractor if you're thinking about doing any kind of remodeling. You wanna do any kind of additions. You need to know what these costs are because when you're budgeting for the loan, you need to know in advance, what's my down payment gonna be? How much money do I have available for rehabs? Am I actually shopping in the right area? Or do I need to be looking in a different area where I can afford to do this kind of work? These are all questions you have to be asking yourself and asking your real estate agent so that when you talk to your lender, your lender can then come back and let you know what you can do and what you can't do. And then we can have a conversation about where you should be buying, what's a good investment for you, what upgrades should you be doing for the property? Because I sell a lot of homes. I know what the other side is gonna look like. So for instance, today's home was a 3,000 square foot home. This particular property at 3,000 square feet in Sherman Oaks is a great find, but the property is tilting. Like the actual home is slanting. The floors are slanting. And the floors are slanting an inch for every eight feet. Now imagine, that doesn't seem like a lot, but imagine your house and every eight feet, if you were to put a marble, it would just slide down to the other side of the house. So we discovered that basically it was gonna cost $400,000 to repair what is already wrong and then remodel the whole entire home. It's $400,000. My client could be into it $175,000 and not having done anything that increases the value, like doing the kitchen, doing the bathrooms, you know, painting it a different color, remodeling the backyard, all these things which normally would get you additional money from your investment aren't gonna be done until you're already out of pocket $175,000. So I just saved my client a ridiculous amount of money because she would have had to pay a structural engineer to come out and take a look a property inspector, so it's $650 for the property inspection, $1,000 for the structural engineer. Uh, the appraisal probably would have been about $750. She's already in this over $2,000 if we didn't go take a look before and do my due diligence as her agent to make sure that she's getting into what she knows before she goes and spends twenty five to three twenty five hundred to $3,000 on an inspection to find out she doesn't want to do that. You'd be pissed at your real estate agent if you spent $3,000 on a problem you could have avoided up front. So that's Kevin De Silva here with the De Silva Daily Episode 7. Why do I call it lucky? Because I'm saving you money before you have to start spending. You take care.